What's going on guys, Aaron from ASGI TV, and it's been a while since I've done a tabletop review. Actually, I haven't done any HK videos. Taylor's been doing all the HK videos. You, he doesn't seem too mad about it, but it's okay. He's, he, he was a little mad that I tried to do an HK video without him. But, um, yeah, let's get into this video. Yeah. Externally, this beauty features the A5 style stock with the bronze buffer tube, the A5 style pistol grip, and the slanted A5 style magwell. So now you can use EPMs or PMAG style magazines. Um, full metal construction along with the integrated front sight, a flip up back sight, and this ambidextrous fire selector. Taylor, you really seem like you don't want me here. I don't. And now my favorite part of this gun, the internals. Let's get into these internals. Shh, I'm the tech. I want to do the video. I don't. All right, let's go. He's taking a long time to fall. Ah! <laughs> Internally, the gun features the new Gen 2 Avalon gearbox with a reinforced tapper plate and reinforced piston, as well as the Avalon motor. The Gen 2 Avalon gearbox features an inline MOSFET in the gearbox itself. You don't have to worry too much about here other than the fuse. Uh, the gun also has, you know, the standard VFC rotary hop-up and the 605 barrel. Out of the entire HK lineup, personally, I don't enjoy the 416 all that much, but I do believe it'll perform well out of the box. Your job is downstairs. Not gonna do anything this time. Mm. Ah. Let's make sure. Yeah, it doesn't. The gun right now retails for 455 at airsoftgi.com. I know it's a little pricey, but it's HK. It demands a sacrifice. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you guys for watching Airsoft GI. If you like what you see, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know how we're doing. And until the next HK video, I'll see you guys next time.